Covering nearly half the Earth's surface, the vast open ocean and deep sea environments of the high seas are ecologically vital, critically threatened, and among the least understood on the planet. The ocean is the world's largest and arguably most important carbon sink, yet the vast majority of it lacks any meaningful protection from multiple stressors, including overfishing, deep sea mining, and fossil fuel exploration that threaten to disrupt the indispensable role it plays in the climate system. Scientists and coalition members of the High Seas Alliance have identified some of the incredible biodiversity hotspots in the high seas that deserve priority protection and could become the first generation of high seas MPAs under a new UN high seas treaty. One of these hotspots is the nutrient rich waters of the Emperor Seamounts, which supports a vast array of biodiversity. The whole mountain range is an artery of biodiversity which runs throughout the North Pacific. The scientists tell us that these mountains are stepping stones for all marine animals when they are crossing the ocean. But the Emperor Seamounts, they have suffered a heavy exploitation. During 60s and 70s, the world's largest amount of seamount fish was removed from there and a lot of corals too. These corals, the vast area of corals, will need uh, hundreds of years to recover, if they recover at all. And the bottom sea trolling is still continuing right now. Ali from Palau, today we stand at a crossroads facing a climate crisis, a bio biodiversity crisis, a humanitarian crisis, and an ocean crisis. Palau is on the front line of this crisis, and our children's future is in peril. Palauans have lived in harmony with the ocean and land for centuries. Conservation is rooted in our culture and it's faithfully passed down through the generations. Today, caring for nature forms an important part of our modern constitution. As a large ocean state, Palau is committed to protecting the ocean. Like all Pacific Islanders, for us, life begins and ends with the sea. If you do not protect it, it will not protect us. The decisions we make and the actions we take in the coming months will determine the health of our planet for centuries to come. It will determine our children's health, safety, and security. The high seas are global common, and we can only effectively protect them through the creation of an effective international treaty. So I urge all of you to join us and help make this treaty a reality for the sake of our children and future generations. Sulang. We have to close this whole area to fishing permanently. We have to create a marine protected area inside the United Nations High Seas Treaty. This is the only way to save the Emperor Seamount and its contribution to the planet, us and the next generations. The leading women for Ocean Network calls for an international effort to have a very, very strong, ambitious High Seas Treaty.